there's one artist who's been making waves that I definitely wanted to kind of, you know, show love to because I've heard some songs. I heard some songs a while back um, from this project, actually. I think this is her debut album. She goes by Skull Crusher. She's sort of like folk, alternative folk, uh, pop, however you want to say it. But um, yeah, definitely want to talk about her. Um, but back to like I was saying, Skull Crusher. Pretty sure this is her debut album. Indie, uh, no, not indie, but folk, pop, however you want to say it. Um, She's dope. Everything I've heard, I've managed to actually hear some of these songs earlier. Um, not gonna say how, but this is her day while and um yeah, I wanted to give this one a shout out and definitely wanted to give it a listen. So quiet the room, skull crusher. She's got that indie, dreamy, alternative folk pop feel. Like I'm a sucker for like this type of sound. Um, kind of like a mix between Beach House and uh, Money Fan. right up my alley uh that dreamy hazy ethereal like soundscape and feel that only the best of like artists can really capture and everything i've heard so far she really captures that um so yeah that was uh they quiet the room See what else? Uh, this was a single, so let's, let's play that like a secret. Her voice is just like a perfect match. <laughs> Like she perfectly captures like that feel where it's like everything's hopeful but devastating at the same time if you know what i'm saying um so Let's give her um one more song. Um, well, this sounds emotional. You are my house is the outro. Let's give it some listen. Like I said, she just has like that. That devastating musical feel, like it just hits you differently. Like it just hits you. She captures it like perfectly. <laughs> A skull crusher, quiet the room. Um, give her flowers. So. I mean, like I said, for me, uh, if you ask me musically, I would say like Beach House and Bonnie Iver were like very formative artists for me, um, especially when in terms of like exploring different genres, different sounds, and just being open to like new things. They were both very uh, formative and um, they formed a lot of like what I like outside of hip hop. And for me, Skull Crusher, um, she really, uh, 
she kind of gives me a, a little bit of both that feel of beach house and feel of like early bonnie bear and then puts her own twist and flip and feel on it and um truly like takes she's just like another place another plane like it's it's that dreamy indie haze that it's hard to explain it's hard to describe but when you hear it and when it's right you just know it and she nails it and you know straddles that line perfectly between hopeful and devastating and all the good things about like folk and uh indie folk and all folk uh music that really that really makes it a special genre and um you know it's their debut album definitely gonna go back and uh listen to everything but everything i'm hearing so far i love it and i'm a fan now so definitely go run those numbers up mm-hmm.